Well, since its beginning, most people think of race car driving of a sport dominated by males. But 15 years ago, the NASCAR Drive for Diversity Combine was launched for minorities and women drivers. This week, the drivers selected did laps for the chance to move on to larger competitions. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona tells us more about the future drivers of NASCAR and introduces us to a couple of young female drivers already making a name for themselves. At just 14, Isabella Robusto is one of the youngest up-and-coming female drivers in NASCAR. I kind of have a target on my back because most guys out there don't want to be beat by me, so they try extra hard and to get by me. She's among this year's participants of NASCAR's Drive for Diversity program, a program launched in 2004 with the purpose of changing the faces of this all-American sport dominated by men. We want the sport to be open to everyone. There's many different drivers of all different backgrounds racing across the country at different levels. Uh, not all of them have the same avenues to reach the top levels of the sport. Uh, so this program provides them a ladder system. Director of Racing Operations Jusan Hamilton says it's about inclusion and reaching multicultural communities. It's diversifying the whole sport. The driver development program, obviously drivers are the most visible part of our sport. Um, so this is obviously at the pinnacle of that program. Robusto, who's been in the driver's seat more than half of her life, says being a girl in this sport hasn't made her feel any different when it's time to start her engine. Once I'm onto the track though and I have my helmet on and we're in the cars, I just feel the same. Like, we're all just out there to win. That's our goal. A sentiment she shares with 21-year-old Brooke Storr from Land Lakes, Florida. I'm just another driver out on the racetrack and uh, ready to win each and every week. So we pretty much just work hard and uh, never use the female side, even though, like, it does get me good opportunities with a diversity program and stuff. But uh, I look at myself as just another driver. Every year, drivers from all around the world apply for the program. Only 10 finalists are handpicked by NASCAR to compete for spots to drive with the Rev Racing Team and in different NASCAR competitions. This year, three girls and three African-American boys and four Hispanic boys from ages 14 to 22 were chosen. Nicolas Sanchez from Homestead, Florida was drawn to the sport for his love of speed. It feels great, you know, to represent my hometown of South Florida and uh, my, all my family, you know. My dad's from originally from Cuba. I think it's very important to uh, diversify the NASCAR field just because it will bring so many more sponsors and potential fans. After Danica Patrick retired in 2018, no other female driver has entered the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series competition the highest level of professional competition these young girls hope to drive at one day. Every other race car driver's dream is to go to the Cup Series and just go through the ladder system such as late models, k and Arca, Trucks, Xfinity, and onto the Cup Series. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. What a fantastic program. It is, and 90 people applied for the program, mm -hmm. so a very select group that made it to the finals yeah. there. And I like how, how they said it, you know, we're just another driver mm -hmm. out there. You know, but it's also cool to, you know, have that backing of the program behind you. Yeah, we'll be seeing a lot more of them, I think. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. We'll, we'll be hearing their names quite often.